Hi everyone, this is Noah from Neris. Toy's behind the camera right now. And uh, this is our first video, kind of like a tutorial on like how um, I approach writing music and writing songs. We thought this would be an interesting thing to do in order to connect with you guys. And that way you could get a bit more invested in some of the stuff that we do. So um, here we go. The, usually the first step that I take when writing songs is I start with my guitar and pump out some sort of riff and then I just move on from there. So what we'll do is we'll get up, break up the guitar here in a bit and start doing that, but um, the strings haven't been changed in like a month. So first we're gonna show you us changing the strings and then uh, we'll come right back here and I'll show you how I pump out my riffs. strings on the guitar and I've got it set into standard tuning and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it up and put on some pedals. I'm probably going to add some distortion and some delay because I want to go for a sort of tool kind of sound today. And then I'm just going to record that and show you guys the end product. Okay, so the first thing that I usually go for when I'm writing a song is the guitar's uh, main riff or the verse. Because I feel like that's very important and gives the song its character and makes the song very unique. It's like, wow, that's that song. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to use my delay and distortion to come up with some sort of single note verse. And I feel like something like this. I kind of like the notes around this string. Yeah, I like that. So then what I'll do is I'll usually, I usually break it up into uh, four, four pieces, and the verse, and then I'll go something like this. Actually change it up a bit to give it a bit of a flair. And then I'll go back to the main verse.
And then once I have that down, I'll go on and I'll start working on the chorus, which gives it the song its punch and really just delivers that wham right in the gut feeling. So I think I'll probably use a bunch of power chords and maybe every now and then just throw in a little bit of scale progression. So I'll do probably something like this. <laughs> I kind of went back to my old reliable strategy of just throwing something in on the third repeat to add a little bit of flavor. It kind of breaks up the repetitiveness. They say that um, repetition it always comes in three, so it's good to disrupt that. So it's like one, two, break, one. And then from there, I'll usually, what I'll do is I'll record a loop of the main verse and solo over it. So I'll do that right now. And that's usually how I approach songwriting. Alright, so that was it for this video. And that's pretty much the hardest part. After this, we've got to tackle um, doing the drums and the bass line. And then finally, I end with the vocals. So next week, I'll probably be doing the drum track. And I'll show you how to do that. Thanks for watching.